Uh, this video is just for mostly for those of you who are going to be gone on Wednesday taking the AP test. Um, a video on evaluating the trig functions, getting exact values of the trig functions without using your unit circle or your calculator. So you're not always going to have your unit circle and this is how I do them more often than not. Um, you want to begin by sketching the angle pi over 6, that's 1 sixth pi, so that's not very far, that's about right here. And we need to find the reference angle, we want to make it into a right triangle. So one side always lies on the x-axis and then the other side is always going to be vertical. So your triangle is always going to look like this in one of the four quadrants. Remember a couple of lessons ago we learned about the bow tie, that it had to be part of the bow tie. And it's always, the angle that we're using is always the one inside the triangle that's at the origin right there. And we need to know what the reference angle is. The reference angle is how far is that angle that we drew to the closest x-axis, which is right here at zero. Well, I just graphed pi over six. So that angle is pi over six away from zero. And we're gonna be using the special right triangles, the 30, 60, 90, and the 45, 45, 90 triangles. So I wanna be able to label my three sides. The hypotenuse for the unit circle, for all of these, the hypotenuse will always, always, always be one. Um, so I now have to figure out if it's a 30, 60, 90, or a 45, 45, 90, and which angle this is down here. So in your notes yesterday, I told you that one sixth pi, or pi over six is like a sixth of a pi. Well, if pi is 180 degrees, and we divide it into six pieces, then each one of those angles, 180 divided by six, is 30. So anytime you have a denominator of six, it's gonna make a 30 degree angle. So now I have my triangle. This is 30, 90, that means this one is 60. So this has to be my short side, and I'm gonna go fill in my three sides. You need to just have these memorized right now. You need to know if it's a 30, 60, 90, the hypotenuse is one, the short side is one half, and the long leg is radical three over two. Um, this is to the right, that's positive. This is up, that's positive. So both these sides are positive. The hypotenuse is always positive. Sine now, if you think about SOHCAHTOA, sine is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. So from the origin, from the angle at the origin, the opposite side is one half divided by the hypotenuse is one. Dividing by one doesn't change a number, so one half divided by one is one half. And I know it feels like this is difficult and that it's taking so much longer than it does with a unit circle. It's definitely not as fast as the unit circle if you're um, proficient with the unit circle, but it's not nearly as long as I'm taking here either while I'm trying to explain. So the second one, cotangent. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Tangent is TOA, is opposite over adjacent. Cotangent is the reciprocal. So cotangent is the adjacent side divided by the opposite side. We want to sketch the angle first, so I'm going to write it as a mixed fraction. 9 divided by 4. 4 goes into 9 twice with 1 left over. So it is 2 and 1 fourth pi. Well, 2 pi starts at 0 and goes all the way around the circle once back to here. So that took care of the two, and now I need one-fourth pi. One-fourth pi is right there. This is a half pi, this is a full pi, this is a quarter right there. So make my right triangle by drawing a line to the x-axis always. The hypotenuse is one. If the denominator is four, then that makes it a 45 degree angle, so 45 and then this one is 45. Hypotenuse is one, when it's 45, 45, the other two are root two over two, and root two over two. This side's positive because it goes to the right, this side's positive because it goes up, so they're both positive. Cotangent is the adjacent side, we use the angle from the origin, 
adjacent to that is radical 2 over 2 divided by the opposite side, opposite the angle of the origin is radical 2 over 2. And if I divide root 2 over 2 by a root 2 over 2, I'm dividing something by itself, then that is just 1. The second two are measured in degrees. So same process, except they're measured in degrees. First one, negative 300 and 30. So negative means that starting at zero, I'm gonna go down. If I went all the way around, that would get me to 360. So I'm just shy of that. And draw your line to your x-axis. Make your triangle. The hypotenuse is one, again. So if this is 330, it's in the negative direction, but I've gone 330 degrees. And all the way to here would be 360, then my reference angle, the distance between the two, is 30 degrees. So this one is a 30, 60, 90 again. This one's 30, this one's 90, this one is 60. So label your three sides, I already have the hypotenuse is one, the short side is a half, and the long leg is radical three over two. Beauty. Cosine is... Come to the attendance office. Beauty, Anna Pay, please come to the attendance office. Cosine is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So your angle at the origin, adjacent or next to that is radical three over two divided by the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is one. So just like the first one we did, when you divide by one, it does nothing to the value and you get root three over two. And number four, the last one, to show you that they are not all in the first quadrant, that was a fluke that those first three all ended in the first quadrant, I should have paid more attention to that. 840, so if I go all the way around once, that's 360. If I go all the way around a second time, that's another 360, which makes 720. So if I'm at 720 right now, and I want to graph 840, how much further do I need to go? 840 minus 720 is another 120. So there's 90, 120 would be like right there. Okay. So there's my angle. I'm in the second quadrant this time. Draw your side to the x-axis to make a right triangle. Okay, so this was 120. That's how far I went. After I did the 720, I had to go another 120. You want the reference angle, the distance to the x-axis, so this one in here. If I went all the way to the x-axis, that would be 180. From 120 to 180 makes that a 60 degree angle. So 60, that one's 90, which makes this one then 30. Hypotenuse is one. Short side is one half. Long leg is radical three over two. Hypotenuse is always positive. Root three over two goes up. Up is positive on the Y. This one, though, this time goes to the left. If you start at the origin and move to the left, that is in a negative direction. So that is negative one half. Cosecant. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. In Sokotoa, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So cosecant is the reciprocal. It is the hypotenuse divided by the opposite side. Hypotenuse is 1 divided by opposite is root 3 over 2. We are not going to leave our answers like that. Too many fractions. So instead of doing 1 divided by a fraction, we change that into a multiplication. 1 times the reciprocal, which is 2 over radical 3. And now I have another issue, because I can't have a radical in the denominator of a fraction, which means I have to rationalize. 
multiply the bottom by the radical and the top by the radical. So I get 2 times square root of 3. And on the bottom, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9, which is 3.